An American capital city does not have the water to bathe children, to cook, or even flush the toilets. The water hasn't been drinkable for weeks, and now for most residents, there's almost none at all. Years-long water problems have reached crisis in Jackson, Mississippi. The governor declaring a state of emergency, the White House monitoring, the president briefed and ready to offer help. The National Guard called out because some 180,000 people are in the middle of a third world like hell. They've been under a boil water order for a month, but now faucets are mostly dry. What does trickle out can't be consumed, and there's not even an estimate for when the water system will be back up and properly working. The crisis after heavy rain and flooding from the Pearl River, flooding that the mayor says overwhelmed the main water treatment plant. But make no mistake, this crisis is years in the making. Today we learned from the reporting of the Mississippi Free Press, a nonprofit media outlet, that the water plant has had critical staffing shortages. And according to the EPA, there's no evidence the city even tried to fill the positions. In 2015, inspectors found lead in Jackson water. And in February of last year, an ice storm left tens of thousands of Jacksonians with no water for a month in the middle of the pandemic. Now, water system failure. The schools are closed, virtual learning only. Many restaurants and stores shuttered, offices empty, families scrambling. But late word, the fire department does have reserve water for areas where there's no help from the hydrants. In Jackson, here's NBC's Guad Venegas. Tonight, a race to distribute water in Jackson, Mississippi. Cars lined up for miles outside distribution centers full of locals hoping for water who left empty handed after the supply quickly ran out. Water that they are giving. Well, you can't get to because the line be so damn long. For weeks, Jackson residents have been under a boil water notice put in place last month because of contaminated water concerns. Now they're on the brink of having no water at all. The uh, Water pressure has been low. So Tapriece Young water. has been spending $100 a week on water for her family. We've had to boil water to cook, to wash dishes, you know, pretty much to brush our teeth. State officials say flood water complications impacted storage tanks, pumps, and water flow, resulting in a failure at Jackson's main plant. The lack of water was due to pressure, a lack of pressure in the system. The water is not safe to drink, and I would even say it's not safe to brush your teeth with. Today, the governor declaring a new state of emergency, announcing a total or near total loss of water pressure throughout the city and surrounding areas. The city cannot produce enough water to fight fires, to reliably flush toilets, and to meet other critical needs. The state now preparing for the colossal challenge of distributing water to 180,000 people in and around Jackson. How long can the city operate without running water, distributing water the way you're planning to do? I mean, this isn't sustainable. We're going to go with this emergency plan as long as we have to. For the news, I'm Guad Venegas.